going on everyone welcome back sorry i wasn't there last week i was at a concert in california but we're back now i'm sitting inside the uh 2002 because i haven't driven it in quite a while i kind of miss it we're very close the intake should be back here next week and also i'll be ordering the rest of the parts for it so i'll have the intake swap coming um right now i sold a couple things i haven't been using for a while so i got some money i'm gonna run to the store and see if we can buy some parts for the 5-3 swap we got going on. First, before I do that, I need to take the belt off this engine and see if it fits that truck, because that truck needs a belt. So we're going to see if it fits, or if I need a shorter one, because I have the bigger alternator in this truck. I have the 135, I believe, and the one in that truck is unknown to me. I bought it off a guy on uh, Facebook. So we'll see if this one fits. If not, we'll know what one we need to get. I really need to get a step ladder or stool or something. So you some buckets. You love them or hate them, these tinctures make it really nice for taking your belts off. Okay. It's like living in a desert and everything is dusty. All right, looks like it fits. So I think I'll just buy the new belt for my 6.0 and just leave this one on here. That way I don't have to you know, worry about it. Damn, this thing needs a bath. And also, I went and picked up spark plugs for the 6.0. These are the fast ones as you can see um, they're shorter than the factory ones I think they're supposed to have less resistance or something supposed to make it more faster and the fuel filter we're going to use for the intake swap we're converting the uh, return system to a returnless system sort of so as far as the fuel pump and tank goes it'll have a return but to the manifold it'll just have a feed so this is a filter of a corvette uh, c5 or c6 i don't really know but this has a regulator built into it and whatever it doesn't need it sends back um, don't worry about getting the numbers just yet i'll have everything put together before i start the intake swap and you can see everything you need so that will come in another video but just showing you guys and I got my headers back on. If you guys saw that on Instagram, if you don't follow me, it's uh, just endless wishlist 6.0. Yeah. And uh, I want to apologize if I sound kind of stuffy. It's getting to that time of year where you know it's getting cold and whatnot, so a little bit of a cold, I guess, cold season. So that's why I sound like an idiot. It was a new belt, so uh, I'll just order my own stuff off. Offline the coolant temp sensors and the oil pressure that I need but We'll go ahead and put these belts back on and I think after doing some measuring and to speed and one of my Instagram friends I Might be able to get away with using my same length push rods even though we've milled the heads 30,000 so that's cool because I don't have to buy another set Or uh, change anything out and I already have them. I can put it together today so that's cool. We're gonna put these belts back on real quick. Yeah, well, on second thought, I think I'm gonna get these 7.35s. Hey, I worked out a deal with Chewy. He's porting my intake. He said he's not using his, so he sent them to me. So we'll see if those work any better. These seem like they got a little too much preload. So we'll just stick the other ones in and see if it feels any better, and then go from there. Hopefully, I don't need a custom size. That would kind of suck. Killing me waiting for this intake to come in. I got my gaskets 
waiting for it. Got the adapters for the flex fuel fuel injectors I'm going to be buying. I'm going to see if I can drive it to the shop with the tune it has, even though it's milled and poured it, you know, way bigger intake and everything. It's probably going to be way lean. I, I don't even know. It's not going to be good to run, that's for sure. So we'll probably drive around the block and see what my air fuel is looking like. Hopefully it's not bad. I can uh, just dog it to the shop. Just put there. And then when we get there, we'll put in the bigger injectors. But first, we've got to get that intake put on. And uh, so once that comes in next week, I'll do the install video probably the following weekend, maybe the weekend after. Because I'm kind of waiting for parts. Like I said, the intake comes in Tuesday. Then if I order the fuel rails, injectors, and whatnot during the week, they won't probably won't get here the following weekend. So we'll maybe have to wait a weekend after. But yeah, it kind of sucks just sitting here waiting for parts to come in. It's a good idea to keep all your extra parts. I know sometimes they can kind of build up and you'll have too much. But some things you don't really see a reason to keep them, but you might need them. So I keep all my spare stuff, LS stuff. Got the bolts for the intake manifold to hold it down. I'm waiting so we can put on this beautiful, uh, where's, there it is, intake and the throttle body. That's gonna look so good. pretty excited I got my old throttle position sensor and the um, idle air control valve put on here this is the throttle body that Holly sells that takes the factory GM ones you don't have to use theirs so theirs are pretty expensive not that these are cheap by any means but I would have got new ones but they want like 80 bucks for one of these things so if these work I'm gonna stick with the factory ones and like I said before, I'll go through all the part numbers for everything we need. I know people like everything laid out for them. I'll make it easy for you guys. So when I get the intake, I'll lay all the parts out that I'll be using. And, you know, give you the part numbers for things like the uh, throttle body gasket. Because you have to use the factory one. You can't use the fast one. I figured that out because I bought a $10 gasket. An old rubber ring that didn't fit. I had to get this one. So... Don't worry, I'll have all the numbers. And also I decided that, I know I, I know I just bought a belt for the green truck. Well, actually I put the new one on that one, used one on the green truck. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing running first, spend all my time and energy on that thing, and then we'll worry about the uh, the 53 Swap 98. It was kind of hard going back and forth, and I feel like it'll take longer that way, so we're just going to get this guy running, get it on the dyno, you know, tune and whatnot. And then we can start focusing on that guy. So once we got this, we can run around and work on that. And lastly, before I, you know, end this super short video, um, my wife kind of had a good idea. Maybe we should do a giveaway. So maybe thinking about doing some stickers if you guys are interested. Um, I'll get a couple. This is just one I bought off of eBay. I think the one on my truck is different. It's got the dot, or the play symbol in the middle, and my boy Chewy. So maybe we'll, uh, you know, sell stickers for a couple bucks. If you guys are interested, do a couple different designs, see which ones you guys like best, and we'll do like a, a giveaway. You know, enter to win. You know, every sticker you buy enters you to win a fifty dollar Summit gift card or something. So we'll go from there. Uh, tell me what you guys think about that. Doing some giveaways. Um, I was thinking about giving away the taillights on my truck once we hit 2,500 subscribers, which we are pretty darn close. So, and I guess I'll show you guys those. They look pretty nice. This one's a little scuffed because I hit something on it. 
and this one is chipped. So they are not in perfect condition, but for free, I guess you can't really complain. So let me know in the comments below what you think about doing a giveaway. I know everybody likes free, well, almost free stuff. Um, like, subscribe, follow along. Thank you for stopping in. I'll see you guys next time.